Greetings everybody, Daniel the Dirty back up line with a quick video about how to fix crashes in the game Sword Coast Legends. The fun and in crashes you might occur or have or whatever. Mm, this didn't work I think. Oh it, it is okay. So this is the startup screen guys and usually the game sometimes even sometimes in the also uh, happens to crash in the menu so usually everybody or most of you guys probably will try to uh, use the best settings here and then the game crashes so what you have to do is to not make it crash or better let's say or you can at least play the game just you go into options this is the third option here and then you go under the video menu so this is at least for me it is working for me so i don't know if it, it will work for you or whatever this is just i really had crashes every time i played uh, I, sometimes i played two minutes sometimes even after the loading screen uh, character selection the game crashed a lot really it crashed a lot and then I really checked the forums and everything and yeah, yeah, you have to do this, try this, try this, try this, I tried, didn't work. So I decided, hmm, I know, okay, graphics engine and the solution, resolution really don't look as it, as it would be like a, a, a full, full AD. So I decided to try, let's try, uh, lower the rest to normal HD which is 1280 versus 720 and uh, kept the frame rate at 30 fps also try full screen or without mode doesn't matter graphics quality i decided to use custom you can also apply medium <coughs> medium quality <laughs> I just have analyzing on so yeah I'm pretty at at a custom setting so it's usually medium try graphics quality medium and the game should work at least it is working for me which I will show you of course and just make player if you have the legendary version of this game you will probably also be able to play as a dungeon master you can also have more you can play also in a co-op this game with three other players so it's like a co-op with four players so this is my character you see level three ranger i decided to play a ranger and then i will just going to continue the game so this is where you can decide where you can invite your friends or you can play offline as i will do and then you just click here or make the game available or invite the people blah 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 I'll just start the game no matter so this is where my current location where I'm currently am as you can see the uh, FPS oh, okay it's really at 30 FPS the game is really kept I've read about the game really goes nuts when you have high settings with your GPU and CPU so that's what I decided I decided okay let's play the game in the normal HD and 30 FPS doesn't matter it's a role-playing game you don't really need high FPS for that game in my opinion so 30 FPS is absolutely acceptable I say acceptable for me at least although the game isn't really old it's a pretty new game and that's where I really don't understand what's wrong with the game. I think it's just the engine, graphic engine. It's a utility engine, as I've read in the forums. So this is probably the main issue. So guys, this was the solution. You can see the game is loading. I will just wait until it has finished. And then I will cut off it and say goodbye. See you around. Hope you liked it. If you do, if it works, Give a, give a thumbs up or subscribe. Go, go, guys. See, this is so you just collect, select your characters and then just walk, walk, walk around. Here you can uh, search. These are your skills and blah, blah, blah. Okay, I will not describe the rest. 
Goodbye guys, have fun.